Owen's ready to roll in his pumpkin outfit. We have some ghostly octopus. We have some frightening fingers. And lastly, we have some creepy crabs. This wiener selection will be a howling success. Our tools and ingredients, we have eight low salt footy franks, or wiener sausages, we have some almond slices, tomato sauce or ketchup, black writing icing, a fry pan, tongs, a gas cooker and a knife. Now let's get started. We're making some ghostly octopus shapes. I'm using two types of wiener sausage here, roughly six inches in length, one with the skin on and one with the skin off. The first step is to cut the sausage in half. Now I'm using a sharp knife to create the legs of the octopus. Leave half the sausage hole to form the head and then cut into eighths. The first two cuts that quarter the sausage are pretty easy, but it's the slicing of the remaining leg evenly in half that's a little bit challenging. It works best if you have a really sharp knife and you hold the sausage firmly and hold it together as you cut those legs into eighths. Now that's looking good. I'm just going to set these aside until later. Now let's move on to making these creepy crabs. Take two of these wiener sausages, cut each sausage in half lengthways. Each of these little crab critters will be around two to three inches long. Slice through the middle of each sausage, trim the ends off, Now using my sharp knife, I'm going to shape the cut end of the sausage on an angle. By cutting the sausage on an inwards angle, you're going to make the legs of the crab look like their claws. Roland may look like he's sleeping, but his little eyes are looking at every little piece of sausage I cut off. We often use slices of wiener sausage for training treats. He can smell them. Trim all the creepy crabs in the same way. Find the center and cut an X shape into the top of the sausage. I don't want to cut this cross too deep. I just want to make it a score on the top of the sausage. This will define the front and the back of the creepy crab. Now I'm carefully going to cut five legs on both sides of the crab. Two of these sausages should make eight creepy crabs. Now wiener sausages are just a treat food, so don't make them a main meal, they're just for a treat. These will look perfect on my creepy Halloween finger foods plate. If you like to eat wiener sausage, they are a great sharing food. Once you've made these creepy crab shapes, set them aside on the plate. Now let's make some frightening fingers. These are my favorite. Don't they look gruesome? Take two long frankfurters and cut them in half lengthways. Next, take a sharp knife and simply make a nail bed imprint into the tip of each of these sausages. I'm using the skinless frankfurters here because they have more of that flesh color that I'm looking for. Now to make these fingers look like an authentic hand, we need to cut several different sizes. Now you've got your own hand as a guide, we're also going to cut a thumb. Okay Roland, time for a little treat. You love these, don't you?
take the base of each of these fingers and just make some incisions. I want them to look like they're fingers that have been ripped off a hand. Now it's time to take our frightening finger foods and pop them all into a pan of boiling water. Cover the pan and boil these for about two minutes. These octopus legs have curled up nicely in the boiling water. Once they've been cooked, remove, pop on a plate lined with a paper towel and let them cool down before decorating. Although we've used two different types of frankfurters, one with the skin on and one without, you can see the skin boils off during the boiling process. But the sausage itself is a little pinker in colour. Now I'm going to draw some octopus eyes and mouth on these spooky octopus shapes. The black writing icing pen works really well when the sausage is cooled. If the sausage is too warm, the writing icing will melt and start to dribble down the front of the sausage. You might like this scary look as well. Next, add two dots for eyes on the front of the creepy crabs. Now it's time to create our dramatic, frightening fingers to form a hand. I'm using almond slices. I've chosen them so they're roughly the right size fingernail for each finger. I'm dipping my almond shaped fingernails into a little bit of honey and then popping them on the end of the fingertip. Attach the almond tip sideways onto the thumb to look authentic. You can also use tomato sauce for this purpose if you want a bloodier type of a look. Pour a generous amount of tomato ketchup on the base of each finger to make it look like it's been ripped off and it's all bloody and bleeding. If you like this video, we would love you to share it. Write to me and let me know which one was your favourite, the ghostly octopus, the frightening fingers or the creepy crabs. Check us out on our Instagram and Twitter accounts and give us a big thumbs up like on Facebook. Thanks for watching, have a great week and bon appetit.